Hello my students, 5th grade, how are you today? Welcome again in Aladdin Muhammad Schools. Today's lesson is lesson 5, listening, and you need to open your people's book page 101. And we have an outcome for today, listen for sequence. My students, open your people's book page 101. Lesson 5, listening. As you can see here, we have a box with words. Let us explain these words. Is is in a trouble, which means in a difficult situation. في ورطة, in trouble. The next one is play a trick, which is phrase also. And the meaning for play a trick is to make someone believe something that isn't true. بمعنى يعمل خدعة. The next one is tell lies to say things that aren't true بمعنى يكذب and the last one is tell the truth phrase to say something that is true بمعنى يقول الحقيقة let us read the word again in a trouble play a trick tell lies and tell the truth Number one, look at the picture and discuss the questions. Here, my students, as you can see, we have a picture and we have to answer about these questions. The first question, where is the boy? Where is the boy? Excellent. He is in a tree. He is in a tree. Next question is, why is he in a tree? Why do you think... He is in a tree. Excellent, because he can watch the goat. The next question, how does he feel? How does he feel? Look at his face. Yes, he feels scared. And the last question, why do you think he feels like this? Yes, excellent, because there is a lion walking towards the goat now let's move to the next activity listen to the story check your ideas in activity one my students let us check the previous ideas that we answered before from this story There was once a boy named Jacobo, who lived in a village in Africa. He was very clever, but he had one problem. He didn't always tell the truth. Sometimes, when he was bored, Jacobo told lies. He thought it made life more interesting. During the day, Jacobo looked after his parents' goats. Every morning, he took the goats up a hill to eat grass. Then he climbed to the top of a tall tree and watched over them. It was a very boring job. One day, Jacobo decided to play a trick. He shouted as loud as he could, Help! It's a lion! His parents heard him in the village. That's Jacobo. There's a lion. It might hurt him. Quick, we need to go. Jacobo's parents ran up the hill. When they got to the top, they saw Jacobo sitting in the tree laughing. They realized it was just a trick. There wasn't a lion. They were very angry. A few weeks later, Jacobo was bored again, so he shouted, Help! It's a lion! His parents heard him in the village. That's Jacobo! Quick! It's a lion! It could attack the goats! They ran up the hill, and once again they found Jacobo sitting in the tree laughing. They were furious. Jacobo, 
If you tell lies, people will never believe you again. The next day, Jacobo was in the tree, when suddenly he saw a lion walking slowly towards the goats. He shouted as loud as he could, Help! It's a lion! It really is a lion! Help! His parents heard him in the village. That's Jacobo again. Yes, but he's just playing a trick on us again. Jacobo's parents didn't go to help him, and the lion scared away all of the goats. Jacobo hid in the tree all day. He was too scared to come down. In the evening, when Jacobo didn't come home, his parents walked up the hill to look for him. They found him in the tree, cold, hungry, and frightened. Jacobo was very sorry, and he never told lies again. Now let us check our answers for the previous questions. Where is the boy? Yes, he is in a tree. And why is he in the tree? So he can watch the goats. Number three, how does he feel? He feels scared. And why do you think he feels like this? Excellent, because there is a lion walking towards the goat. Now move to the third activity. Listen again and number the events in order. As you can see here, my students, we have events from A to F. And according to the story, you have to number them in order. Firstly, let us read the event from the beginning, A. He does the same thing again and his parents are furious. B. His parents go to help him, but it was just a trick. C. One day he decides to play a trick and shouts for help. D. The boy takes the goat up and uh, up the hill every day. And E. Then he sees a real lion. He shouts for help again, but his parents do don't come. F. The lion scares away all his goats. Now, what do you think is the first event? Excellent, the first event happened according to the previous story as D, this is number one, the boy takes the goat up the hill every day. Now, what about, uh, what about number two? Excellent, which is C. One day he decides to play a trick and shouts for help. So, uh, this is number two. Here we have to write number two. Now, what do you think about number three? Yes, which is B. His parents go to help him, but it was just a trick. So, this is a three. Here we have to write three. And what about number four? Yes, which is A. He does the same thing again, and his parents are furious. So, so this is number four. Now, what do you think is number five? Yes, excellent, which is E. Then he sees a real lion. He shouts for help again, but his parents don't come. So this is number five. And the last event for this story, which is F. The lion scares away all his goats. Now move to the fourth activity. Discuss with a partner. Number one, why did Jacobo tell lies? Excellent, because his job was boring and he decided to play a trick. Number two, do you agree with what his parents did? Why and why not? Here, my students, you have to answer about your opinion about uh, his parents, if you agree or not agree with them. 
Number three, what is the uh, moral or message of this story? الفكرة الرئيسية من القصة Yes, you can say, for example, it's important to tell the truth. And you can add any message that you understand from this story. My students, try to discuss with your family with number two and number three. And don't forget to send me your opinions. That's all for today. Thank you very much. See you next class. Goodbye.